is over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Even dating to his time on the Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015, you got the sense very early on that Kamar Usman could be something special, as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a basic pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Woodley fight. Yet again, prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, collar tie. Nice one-two there. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. They checked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Beautiful punch. And they separate. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Just over two minutes, round one. Got the single. Takes down, cut him. Takes down, cut him. Over and over. He's securing these takedowns. Right hand punch for the clinch. Checks the leg kick. Nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. I'll be gonna follow this beautiful takedown attempt land. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt in the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability. Nice. That was... Ready? You ready? And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good strike. That is how you scramble, folks. Head kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, really? Whoa! Whoa! Trying to stay in this fight! Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Over and over, landing big body kick. Usman. 
Strickland's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown. You get up or you go down as another takedown of tip lane. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Yeah. Nice punch by Kamaru Usman. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space, find places to rest and recover, get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Look at that free ball. Goes to the anchor pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. All right, so he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to make that. That is it. Can you believe it? He got him. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushpah. And new UFC welterweight champion.